So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because the question is short. Simplify questions are typically between one and three lines long. And because I see an equation. Simplify questions will contain either an equation or an expression. So let's read this and see if I only need to simplify or if there's something more to it than that. The question says the function q is defined by, and I'm going to just rewrite this, q of x is equal to 5 times negative 1 to the x power, where x is an integer. What is the value of q of 6? So we're trying to figure out what q of 6 is. So first of all, this is not going to end up being a simplified question because I don't need, or there's nothing here that I can really simplify, right? This is in the simplest form. What it's going to end up being is a plug-in question, right? So a plug, so plug-in information from the question, PIQ. The question is providing us with X becoming 6, which means that this X here must also become 6. So another way to think about this is substitution. Right, but we're very literally plugging in information provided by the question. So I still have 5, so let's just go down here and make some more space. I have q to the 6 will equal 5. I still have negative 1, but now instead of an x power, I'll have a 6 power, right? Because this x became a 6. This x became a 6. So let's do... Um, PEMDAS with this. So parentheses, there's nothing to simplify inside the parentheses. And then exponents, well, I have this exponent 6, negative 1 to the 6th power. Anytime you raise a negative number to a power that is even, you will end up with a positive answer. So negative 1 to the 6th power will be positive 1, right? So that takes care of that. I still, of course, have this 5 out here. And 5 times 1 is equal to Five. So the answer to this question is choice C. And the strategy that we used is plug in information from the question.